growth is good, but growth has to be inclusive and it has to be environmentally sustainable. And at this G20, Tony Abbott didn't want to talk about um, climate change. Uh, he didn't want to talk about inclusive growth uh, and he didn't want to talk about other global issues like Ebola, which of course is both a humanitarian and an economic problem. Uh, and thankfully, all of those three things are in the communique, but Australia didn't lead the world in putting those issues on the agenda. We got dragged along uh, very unwillingly on a number of them. Can I just make this comment about inclusive growth? You now have um, the OECD, the IMF, the World Bank, the Governor of um, the Reserve Bank of England, Mark Carney, uh, um, Christine Lagarde, all these people saying that for growth to be really sustainable, uh, long-term, uh, higher rates, it has to be inclusive. That means investing in people. It means a, a smaller gap between the richest and the poorest in a country. It means investing in health and education and infrastructure. And there's terrific um, data from, uh, from the OECD that shows that the larger the difference between the richest and the poorest, the less likely it is that a country's growth will be strong. It's actually better for growth to have less inequality in a country. Why aren't we talking about that? Why did the government not want the word inclusive in front of growth in the, in the communique from well, the weekend? Can I just make one observation? I mean, there is Australia, in terms of income inequality, uh, is much, much income, in, household incomes, is much less unequal than a lot of other countries in the G20, including the United mm. States and Britain. And one of the reasons is because we have al always had a uh, social welfare system which is very heavily means tested. I, I agree with you. We do need e equality or inequality is a real problem, and that's one but of the Martin, reasons you've got to you've got to make sure yeah. that, in so far as you can, you have a strong economy that gives everyone the chance of a job. You have a strong education system so that people, as jobs require more skills, are able to do them. And you've got to have a social welfare system that is very sure. much skewed okay. to well, people in Yeah, but we, we have quite, quite a few questions. This. I don't want to have the two politicians oh, dominating the discussion. Well, I mean, this is super but, quick. But, but, can I ask, don't you think one of the reasons that, that Tony Abbott is having such trouble with the budget, which he was telling the leaders about, the problem with his getting his $7 co-payment through, mm. uh, and the problem with getting his much more expensive uh, university education through, is precisely because people in Australia sense that that budget is going to increase rather than decrease inequality. It's, it's, yeah. mm. that's why people <laughs> object to it.